Hey, welcome back to Cloud Just Corner. My name is Norm. Today I want to talk about somebody that's offering 50 million pesos just to be the love of your life. <laughs> that's right. So, my friend up the road here, I don't want to name names because I don't want her to feel embarrassed. But she did say I could do the video. And she wants me to do it as a warning to all you Filipinas. There is a man who claims to be a financial consultant for a big company out of New York. And he's using somebody else's picture. So if some of you aren't familiar with that, that's called catfishing. I don't know why they use that term, but it's interesting to say the least. Well, yeah, he's using a, a picture of an attractive older man and he's going on date in Asia and all these other sites looking for victims. So, of course, he takes his time in the beginning wooing you. That's his, that's his way of getting to you, you know, making you all these empty promises, giving you his undying love, declaring his undying love for you, promising to marry you, give you some babies, live a rich life here, and back in America. So basically what the scam is, is that he can pretty much guarantee you through his investment company, 50 million pesos within a week of your investment, your small investment of 200,000 pesos. At least that's what this girl got conned out of. And prior to this happening, she actually asked me about this and I told her that it was fake from the beginning. I told her not to not to do it because I said an investment co company cannot guarantee you anything. And as an example, I told her about the coronavirus and I showed her on my phone. I showed her the stock market, what happened when it hit, when they closed down everything. I showed her that the stock market, the NASDAQ, So, I had warned her and I showed her that on the NASDAQ and the Dow, everything plummeted. All the stock exchanges plummeted. I told her there's no way you can guarantee somebody that they're going to make X amount of dollars, you know, in a week, in a month, in a year. Because there's just too many things that go on. I said, if a war breaks out, yeah, the market will crash. So. She never listened to me, you know, because the fear of missing out because there was only one, one spot left. That's what he told her to get in on this investment. There was only one spot. He claims to be working for this company for now several years or whatever. It's commission based. And he told her that his salary is only $250 a month. Boy, stepped in a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> At least the chocolate didn't come out. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess I better watch the road while I'm talking to you, right? He's telling her that he only gets $250 a month. Right there, I knew that this is all a scam. And I'm figuring it's not somebody from the U.S. I figured maybe it's somebody from here in, in the Philippines that's doing this scam and targeting all the... Philippine is here, the romance scammer. So this guy is going by the name of Mark Graham. It's another thing that I checked out. <laughs> Mark Graham has a, is actually an author, authored a book on Forex trading. So if somebody wanted to search him out, they may have found his name, but I think things would have go awry pretty quickly if they see his picture <clears throat> but of course he's probably telling people that's his father his father wrote the book 
<laughs> they'll tell you anything. They will tell you anything. I'll also show you the pictures that he's using and I'm pretty sure they're not the real person's pictures. I'm 100% I'm sure of that because when I Google the pictures I found out that there's there's another name for this guy and even when I went to that guy's Facebook ad it's pretty much fake only one page no no pictures no nothing in order to invest this money my friend basically sold her house she she sold her house and sent the money to this guy and now she has to be out of her house and she's you know waiting for her parents to die so she can get an inheritance <clears throat> so I'm not sure what her situation is but um, I don't know too much about her finances or anything about that but anyways I feel kind of bad for her and it's too bad there are people like that in the world that can do that to people that are old and sick but anyways at the end of the day it was her own greed that got her in trouble I mean I, I warned her but you know the fear of missing out that amount of money yeah she didn't want to take a chance of losing she didn't want to take a chance of losing out now she's an elderly lady and she's sick she's got tuberculosis so so I mean those may have been the reasons why she didn't want to risk losing out on that money maybe she could afford to pay for her health problems but anyways you know she's not going to be able to get that money back now because she can't work be careful of the people that you meet online you really have to check them out thoroughly because that's what they do you know they get you to fall in love with them and then they start asking you for money and yeah you don't want to be giving up your money to somebody you don't even know especially to a guy that's asking you for money <clears throat> there's absolutely no excuse for a guy to be asking you for money none you know if your, your boyfriend asks you for money well if he's only asking you for like 50 pesos because he wants to buy a coke and all he has is a thousand pesos and they can't change it that's different you're pretty sure that he's going to pay you back you know but he's starting to ask you for thousands and thousands of pesos yeah there's absolutely no no excuse for doing that there's none but if he's just your boyfriend in the beginning and asking you for money don't do it if he's offering you some investment don't do it don't invest money don't buy any real estate with him don't buy nothing with this guy he's just a flim flam man you're not a bank careful with your money with some of these guys because i'm pretty sure there are expats coming here doing this as well okay so that's my warning anyways thank you for hanging out with me today my name is norm subscribe peace out